Bukan. Speaking about circularization, yeah. speaking about circularization, this led by the Dutch man, which is invaded the Malay archipelago in around 19th, 19th century, which is started from the Portuguese and then continued by the Holland or the Dutch. At that time, the idea of secularism is intended to make the whole single administration of the Dutch administration along with the Malay archipelago, which is need to tan or to get much more profit or privilege by having that kind of situation. And this is very special for the Dutch because at the time, 350 years has been ruling this kind of country and the invaders tend to use illegal transfer to the new kind of nation. Let's start from the beginning of that. I think when Islam has been the oriented as the first religion, which is as the enemy of the Dutch, because the Dutch didn't like Islam too much, because this is the enemy of, of the Dutch invaders, because they think that uh, they have to destroy Islam, they have to secularize, they have to westernize the society. They have to change all the all the civilization of the Malay archipelago at that time. So that that's why the Dutch administration sent Hubrunier as the Orientalist and the two favorite Orientalists in the Eastern or Western Europe to come to this kind of archipelago to rule and to give such a consultation to the Dutch administration at that time. At that time, uh, he consulted that especially Achenese people because Achenese people is the first time occupied at the time and then they send Hurganya because all military uh, strategies all about the hard war strategies that they implemented in this kind of region is not successfully means failed so that's why they send Hurganya here to improve the quality of the invasion to see the development and he consulted that Islamic people have to be secularized from their religion to the new kind of religions. So they, they influence Muslims by sending the values of westernization to, in, to effect the civilization of Muslim society in Aceh in order to get influence and to make the same orientation interest with the Western culture. So that's why they illegalize every single activity such as they, they, poli they politize Islam, uh, especially the ulama here. So they restrict everything regarding to the activities of education, to going to Mecca and have activity of learning Islam there. They strictly restrict and also they secularize people from Islam. They send uh, the influence of Western such as uh, narcotics, and also the three active sects uh, and so on. So that's why uh, that's the idea that the, he sends to the administration of the Dutch at the time. But unfortunately, the Agenist people didn't cooperate with that Dutch consultation because we know that from the root of Islam, from the root of history, Agenist people is a nation, has been a country for a long time ago. So that kind of influence, that kind of values, tries to be said by the Dutch men, is not successfully implemented in this kind of region. So that's why that political Islam sent to the central government of the Dutch men at the time, named Batavia. Uh, so they implement that kind of uh, consultation in that kind of region. So what? shocked us that he successfully implemented in that kind of regions while he was not successfully implementing that kind of values in Aceh. So that's why 
the idea, the implementation of Islam, which is secularized, especially in education. So we can see that education in Indonesia now is much more secular, secularized with Islam and the basic common educational system, which is much more different, have long distance between Islam and uh, basic education, which is not as we want it as Muslim. And that kind of situation already successfully implemented until now, if we realize. That is the first rule, the first value that the Dutchmen have tried to influence, to westernize, to secularize people from religion, especially Islam. Because they want to control, they want to keep every inch of the poor territories of their first invasion in this very long Malay archipelago. They try to send a secularization effect because they, for the immortal life until the day of sir, they want to keep every single in conquered territories of their own. So that's why if we realize that, if we realize the present situation and the previous one based on the consultation of the Montpellier or the consultation of the Dutch, we have as the students, as the politician, as the one who has the power to change a little bit the system of education, the system of running system of the life, the activity of the human being. We have to change a little bit, we have to reverse. That's why the history is the key route to be the changers of within ourselves. For the first thing, we have to change ourselves and then transfer the ideas, transfer the knowledge uh, of the activity of the staff to the society. That's why the history is much more important. So the first question is not nationalism in Indonesia secular, secularized by the Dutch until now, which is not in common sense, which is, uh, I think, which is uh, nonsense to be implemented. Because from Sabang to Morocco, in the whole single administration, which is as the legacy of the Dutch, and then re-implement it in this kind of situation as much as, as Eastern and Western Europe, which is we know that Eastern and Western Europe haven't been administered and single administration, which is impossible thing to be implemented. And we know we have a lot of nation, we have a lot of interest, we have a lot of common sense that along of the Malay archipelago, but secularized in some kind of way, which is uh, divide divided between Islam and the administration of the country. With 95% of Indonesian citizens is Muslim. This can be a question for us. 95% of Muslim society in Indonesia, which is the biggest country which have the Muslim population, haven't really implemented Islamic regulation but try to secularize people. That's why the values of the Dutch Hidronia was very significant to decrease the superiority and decrease the self-identity from people from Sabang to Morocco into the single administration, secular administration. I think the conclusion for this time is try to realize by exploring the history, by knowing your own history of your identity. Because knowing your identity will shape you in the future, will change the regulation, the system of your country. That's why, because the people now hasn't really aware of their conscience, of their moral compass, that's why the people will live in a stupidity, will know anything about this kind of history. This is the time, this is the start. Even though it's not too late for us to just start learning from now. This is the time and this is the moment. And ah, this is our obligation, obligatory for citizens. I think that is the yeah, samurai of my knowledge or my perception about what the Dutchman has influenced the people from the previous invasion until now, until the immortal political system in the future. If we didn't uh, destroy it, uh, very painful, sensitive reality to get it off, it will be running until the hereafter. 
So that is the great message that needs to be said to your generation. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.